So in response to your webinar about my partner doesn't want to sleep with me, um, we've had a lot of people writing in about this, and the great questions. And this woman wrote in and said, in this, in this situation, I'm the one who doesn't desire sex. Mm -hmm. It's just not there no matter what we've tried. Um, they think it's menopause and hormones. Mm -hmm. um, but there's, they're having trouble in their relationship because the sex was part of their connection and something they both valued. And now for her, it just doesn't matter. She does not want to have it. Um, and they tried a bunch of different things, but there's just she's not feeling sexual. She's not wanting to connect that way. Um, is there something they can do to, to save their marriage and keep the connection? This is yeah. Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. Kathy Vartuli from IntimacyDojo.com. Um, yeah, these are great questions, and I wish I had like a magic yeah. answer that we could just like. Oh! Um, so thanks again for for writing in. Uh, we love the questions. My advice is, um, and Esther Perel and a couple of people talk about this. Um, it's a thing that gets talked about in the sex therapy world around, um, you know, if your partner has needs for sex and intimacy and, and you're not in the mood, but you're, you want to stay together and make some and have something work, there is this idea and you have to be careful with it, of, well, what kind of sex or sensual connection can we have, mm -hmm. even though I don't want sex, is there something that I can do for you sensually and erotically that I can still show up? Um, and the joke, of course, is that, you know, I'll give you a hand job while we watch television. And then, like, but again, for your partner, it's like, I, that might not work for them. Yeah. Um, so... Sometimes you can find middle ground that gets everyone's needs met. Even if it's just holding them while they masturbate could increase the section. The yeah, the, so the connection, figuring out what it is you're actually looking for, what your partner's looking for, and where you can be a yes without crossing a boundary of yours. So Because you don't want to be doing something that, you, that you're actually a no to. But sometimes there's this really interesting and can be healthy spot of like, well, I'm not, I'm not a no, you know, I'm not horny for this thing, but I can be this for you. Uh, that doesn't cross weird boundaries and, and will sometimes work. Um, not for everybody, because sometimes we want our partners to be fully engaged and turned on. But at the same time, it's like, I understand you're going through menopause, your libido's gone, mm -hmm. but I still want to connect with you. If, you know, if you hold me while I jerk off or, you know, if we do this, um, then I feel like we got, I'm getting what I needed and I feel connected, mm -hmm. you know, and so you're looking for that middle ground. And if that's not there, um, and again, you should probably talk to a therapist too, mm -hmm. right? It's always good to have a, 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 a trained, a trained listener, mm -hmm. um, do some research, you know, is, is it some, something medical, uh, you know, what's going on, get, get real about it so you can have real conversations, mm -hmm. but then you're looking for options. And then, you know, the worst case scenario being, um, we've looked at all the options, we've done the research, we've had the conversations and I really, I still don't want sex at this point in my life. Mm -hmm. Who knows? It might shift, but right now I don't. Mm -hmm. You have needs sexually. So what other things can we do that will still leave us feeling honored and loved in our relationship, but I can help you get your needs. And everybody's different about that. What what will work for you may not work for somebody else, and what works for someone else may not work for you, but exploring that, if the relationship's important and you want to keep it intact, mm -hmm. that can be you know opening up marriages, finding someone else to bring to bed, um, or helping them in different ways. Yeah. So again, like this is like our, this advice is really the beginning of you and your partner figuring out how to empower yourselves and get needs met. There's no hard and fast answer. And, um, but doing the, the research and the exploring together can at least have everyone feel like they're trying and uh, leave people feeling not as hopeless, even if you arrive at, the, at finding out that there's nothing that you can do. And we have to look at other options. So again, great question, complex answers. Um, but the real thing is to, to 
what can you be doing to, for you to both feel empowered and not blamed and to be having real conversations with each other. Yeah. Thanks again for writing in. Let us know what you think. Leave some comments. Hit subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, Sex Geek. If you would like to continue with the brain sex, do me a favor and click subscribe right here. If you'd like to watch me on social media, that's where you're going to go. Next video, maybe? And if you really would like your own Sex Geek t-shirt, please click right here, right now. Boop. N no, no, really, like... <laughs>